Are you nervous about your looks declining as you get older? In today's video, we ask women about aging and how they feel about their declining looks. Are they worried about becoming less attractive? Will it change the type of man that they date? The footage for this video was shot in New York in the United States and London in the United Kingdom. At what age are women the most desirable to men? 22. I think they're 20s. 30s. Yeah. Uh, at 22, I'm going to... The 20s, maybe? 20s. Yeah, like 20s or late teens. 25? Between like I think 20 and 30. Well, legally I would say 18, of course. Uh, but I think around like 16, 17 ish. I'm gonna say the 20s because I'm in my 20s right now, and I'm not gonna lie, guys weren't really paying attention to me until I hit 20, and then I have no idea what has happened. But this summer really showed a difference. I don't know what it was, but there was one. Is it true that once a woman has turned 30, she has already peaked in terms of looks and is no longer able to attract lots of male attention? I do not think so. Retarded. Who thought of that question? No, that's a big old no. Why? No. No. Not at all. I don't think so. No, I don't agree with that. Some women actually, when they get older, they turn like they are more beautiful. I think uh, beauty comes from the inside. Personally, I think that it's true. Yeah. Women are attractive at any age. It depends on who's, who they're attracting. Beauty comes in all ages, so I don't think there's an age restriction on that muscle. I don't think that's true because everybody's different and everybody like looks different at different times depending on how they take care of themselves. I think also men are more into how you make them feel rather than how you look. I think as we get older, women are like fine wine, you know, wine ages is well time. So I think that's the same with women. I think our little kinks smooth out as we get older and you just find a way to appreciate it more so the confidence looks sexier. And then what age are men at the most desirable, do you think? <laughs> Um, around, around uh, 25? 30s. 30s. Late 30s. 28 maybe? Like, like, 20, like early 20s or late teens. 30? Yes. Okay. Late 20s, early 30s. Guys take a while to blossom, kind of sounds weird. So I would be saying around 20. So the one thing that women are always taught is that men have a mental capacity of four years younger than their actual age. <laughs> so it's hard to kind of answer. Me personally, I would look for an older man, like <laughs> older, but like, I mean, like a couple years older. Are you nervous about your looks declining as you get older? I'm a smoker, so yes. I've actually started to care less. Okay. I mean, I am personally not thinking about that right now, but I can see myself getting nervous about that later on, about my looks decline. Maybe like 25, to around 20 now, but like 30, 40, yeah. No, not yet. But yeah, when you, think, when you start thinking about it, of course you, you're you getting nervous and you, yeah, you think about it, oh, how am I gonna look? And I'm getting older. Uh, my cousins in their 20s, they're using like anti-aging creams and stuff like that. So yeah, they are nervous about their looks declining. No, I think it's a it's normal thing to do. If you're nervous, you're just gonna get a... You're gonna look older than you are, earlier than you should be. <laughs> Maybe you're anxious or you're becoming anxious that you won't be this attractive when you were young or stuff like that. Maybe. I've come to a self-realization that any way I look, somebody's going to be attracted to it. And I know there's somebody out here for everybody. So whether I look one way or another, somebody will appreciate it. If a woman senses that she has passed her peak in terms of physical attractiveness, will that change the kind of guy she is interested in dating, do you think? I think it's a really good question. I hope not. Uh, yes, people want different things with time, so I think high expectations, you lower them. Maybe they feel a little bit less, so it could be possible. I'm not sure, I'm not declining yet, so. <laughs> it definitely might. It may change her standards and what she may feel is okay for herself. I do think it'll change what she aims for because she doesn't think like she can get a certain guy looking the way she does. I don't think so. I think a lot of other things influence like 
the type of guy that you want to date but not like your own personal sense of your age i guess uh yeah maybe because she's anxious and she feels like she would uh not be this desirable when she was like when she was young and uh she feels like uh less men uh, would be attracted to her. You become more aware of who you are, so your preferences change because of that, not because of how attractive you think you are. They might possibly go for someone that is just accepting of them, even though they don't meet the standards of you that they might normally go for. When I would be 30 and I would not have uh, like found the one which I could really trust, which uh, the man I could get a child with, settle down and all these stuff. Like, I would be anxious and nervous. Who cares more about looks, do you think, men or women? I think it's equally. I think, I think women, actually. Not that women aren't too, but men more specifically are visually stimulated. I personally don't care, but I know a lot of my friends do. I think guys respond to looks more, definitely. I think girls are looking more for like that personal, emotional feel, but guys are definitely <laughs> looking at a girl's attractive side first. I think women, because of just how society made it, uh, it it's more important for women to look good physically than men. What are they looking for? In their... I don't know, like abs, <laughs> hair, like stuff like that. At what age do m women typically stop having fun with good-looking, cocky guys and start looking for nice, dependable men to be a husband? Wow! Um, at what age? Well, for me, it was like around 25. Yeah, maybe 30. I know, 30 years old. I believe late 20s. I think it stops around late 20s, but then it starts again around late 40s. I mean, I think there is always something attractive about a cocky guy, especially when you're younger, because it's like a challenge. Because I feel a lot of women in their midlife crisis go again for like the young, good looking guys. There's a difference between a cocky guy and a confident guy. A guy that's confident is always attractive, but a guy that's cocky is really not. Somebody that's older wants somebody that's like, that has a stable uh, finance, also like a stable personality that they can live with. They started, have started earlier for me because I think I've realized that what I've wanted to do in life and I think once you realize what you want and you start to plan it out, at this point you just need somebody to accompany you with it and see their plan. It's like this line you're crossing like to when you're 29 you're oh yeah I'm young and then you're 30 uh, hmm, I'm getting old now. It's like everybody thinks that. Do most women accept their looks fading with age or do they get depressed and upset? I hope not, because then a lot of women are like, can be depressed. Oh, that's tricky. No, I think they get depressed and upset. I feel like most people do get upset. I think most women get depressed and upset. I think women get depressed and upset. Like, I don't think women accept it. A lot of women don't. I have my grandmother who still dyes her hair. She's about to be 70. Even at this age, like now, um, constantly, all the time. When ladies go up to 30 and after, that they're more comfortable with the way they look, there will be more like security. So I think, no, not necessarily. My friends, I wouldn't say are depressed about it, but it is something you're constantly trying to, you know, stay. Everybody wants to stay young, right? Like, I do. <laughs> I think it's again because of the way society is. It's kind of you, you're supposed to look a certain way and supposed to feel a certain way, and you maybe feel pressure. I think a woman will get, yeah, maybe upset and depressed um, because you're always comparing yourself to other women at your age and also to younger women. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. people trying to figure it out. Like it yeah, takes yeah. time and understanding and conversation for us to really figure out what's going on. And if the conversation isn't started, then it'll never happen. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you're looking for a way to help the channel out, maybe consider becoming a contributor. I'm always looking for more people to conduct these street interviews. It's fantastic we get to do these comparisons of women from different countries. So if you like talking about evolutionary psychology, topics about gender, dating, relationships, and you want to make a little bit of pocket money and increase the social confidence, I'd love to have you on the team. Just check out the link in the description box below to find out how you can join.
This work is particularly good for college kids who have a smartphone and some free time and like talking to girls. I provide the questions, I do the editing, I just need you to talk to the women. So go ahead and sign up and I look forward to working with you.